guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be rating my hermit crab shells from 1 to 10. I have a lot of shells, so I not, might not be able to um, do all of them, but I will do quite a few of them. 1 is horrible and not suitable at all, and 10 is fantastic. And yeah. This is my first shell. It's not anything that different from most shells. It's just a regular shell, and I would definitely rate it a 10 out of 10 because, well, it's just a normal shell, and for the right-sized hermit crab, it could be fantastic. The shell I have is this pinkish shell with a bunch of spikish things. So this is a really great shell. Um, I have used it for my hermit crabs. None have gone into it, but it's pretty good. I would rate this shell a 9 out of 10 just because of the spikes that could get in the way of a hermit crab, but it's still a really great shell and is still 100% suitable to use in a hermit crab tank. It would still be really great to use for a hermit crab that fits in it. Now I'm going to rate this shell. I will show you the inside in a second. It's a pretty good shell. It's definitely suitable for hermit crabs. It does have a bit of an odd opening, so for that reason I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10, but it's still suitable for hermit crabs. I have this shell. It's a painted shell, and I do not use this at all with my hermit crabs. It is not suitable at all, because if the hermit crabs eat the paint, then that is not good at all. Because when they are looking for shells, they will pinch off some of the paint and kind of eat it. They're weird creatures, but that's kind of what they do. So any painted shell isn't good at all, and other than the paint, there's also kind of a weird opening. I mean, it's not that bad if it wasn't painted, but like, I'm just gonna rate this like a 1 or 2 out of 10. Like, 1 basically. <laughs> Here I have another shell. I have this in my water pools for my hermit crabs to walk up, but I would never actually put this out for them to change into because they wouldn't even enjoy being in this shell, and it's probably very rare that a hermit crab would even come into here, so for that reason I'm going to rate this a 1 out of 10 because this isn't even really usable for the hermit crab. It probably wouldn't even decide that it wanted to come up here, so yeah. Now I have this shell which I also use in my water pools because it's not that suitable. Now you could use it, it would still work, but it's another very odd opening and I don't really think a hermit crab would enjoy being in here that much because this is such an open and wide opening and it would be really awkward because for the hermit crab to get out, that'd be really weird for them, likely. So I would rate this like a maybe 4 out of 10 because it still technically could be suitable for some hermit crabs, but it's not the best. And I've never had a hermit crab get into this, so yeah. Another shell that I have in my water pools for my crabs to climb up. Um, so this shell is very delicate, it's very, like, thin, and it's very breakable. I literally remember cleaning a shell like this once, and I just squeezed a little bit, and it broke, and I was like, wow. And also, again, kind of like the last one, there is such a weird opening that I would rate this more like a 2 out of 10, because for the right hermit crab, it probably could work but like, it's also super delicate, and the point of shells is to protect them, so yeah, that's why I rate this a 2 out of 10. So here is another shell that actually one of my crabs just moved out of today. Um, so this is a very, very nice shell. Honestly, once Pal and Iko actually fought over this shell, and I helped Iko out because this is more of the right size for him, but they both love this shell so much, and it's a really, really nice shell, so I would definitely rate this a 10 out of 10. 